Hello, my name is Patrick Kauser. I would like to show you the maximum healing arm analysis mode we have in stability. And this might typically be used to calculate, say, the maximum allowable grain healing moment. So I've loaded my model in. Here you can see it in the uh, body plan view. I can select the analysis mode, maximum healing arm. And then this will calculate for a range of drafts or displacements and a range of vertical center of gravity, the maximum healing arm that the selected criteria will pass. So if we have a look at the criteria for the grain requirement, the first one is that the angle of heel due to shift of grain should not be greater than 12 degrees. So that's the intersection of the GZ curve with the grain healing arm should be um, less than 12 degrees. Furthermore, the area under the GZ curve between this intersection and 40 degrees or the down flooding angle, so this area here between the two curves, should be at least 0 0.075 meter radians. We have a third criterion that is unrelated to the healing arm, which is that the metacentric height should be at least 0.3 meters. So this would be analysed independently of this analysis that we're doing now, which is looking for the maximum healing arm that we can have that still pass the first and second criteria. So basically we're moving this line up and down, looking for the maximum value where these two, um, where these two criteria are satisfied. So we can look how you would set up those two criteria in stability. So... By default, in the, you know, in the maximum healing arm analysis, we've selected two criteria that match what's used in the grain healing arm. Of course, you have a whole range of criteria that you can select from, but they all require a single healing arm. So the ones we've got selected, the angle of heel due to grain shift, it's using the maximum grain healing arm, which is this one, and that's the one that's going to be varied. And we want the angle of equilibrium with that healing arm to be less than or equal to 12 degrees. And then the second criterion is that area one. So we're looking at the area from the greater of zero degrees and the angle of equilibrium with the healing arm. That's the important one. Up to either the lesser of 40 degrees or the first down flooding angle of the down flooding points. And we could also include deck edge immersion if we wanted to and that's the required area. You'll notice that both criteria use the same healing arm. That's the requirement. We can't optimize, or we can't maximize two different healing arms at the same time. So all the criteria that you select must use the same healing arm. The next thing we can do is specify the range of displacements or drafts. Uh, either will do. So I'm going to do from 8,000 tons up to 12,000 in steps of, well, I'll do say five, five steps. You notice here I can modify those if I want an uneven spacing. So, say I want to actually start at 8,500 8, tons, I can just edit that first one. Click OK. Uh, I can look at the healing arms I set up. So I'm going to go from 0 to 15 degrees in steps of 3, and that will give me exactly that 12 degree critical angle. And then up to 20 in, in another 5 degree step, and then up to 90 in 10 degree steps. And I can, because this vessel's symmetrical, it doesn't matter whether I test to starboard or to port. And then I want to set up some vertical center of gravities that I want to check. So I'm going to go from seven meters to 10 meters in one meter increments and I'm not going to modify that. So now all I need to do is press the analyze button and you'll see it's rotating the vessel at the different drafts and at each point here you can see the data starting to accumulate. You can see for the um, seven meter VCG as you might expect you can have a bigger healing arm and still pass the criteria compared to say with the VCGs higher, um, you can have a smaller healing arm. So here we've got the, the graph. Um, 
we can modify the layout a little bit if we like. So if I select that graph window, I can go to the data format table here, dialog, sorry. And for the graph, I can, I've got VCG data sets. So each data set is for a different VCG. I could change that to each data set would be a draft. And so instead of the axis here being displacement, I'd have the VCG. And I can change it to a line graph if I prefer lines to dots. Again, for the table, I can change its layout. So at the moment, I've got the different VCGs along the top in columns and the different drafts and displacements. There's a single row for each one. And then each of these values would be the maximum healing arm for that VCG and that displacement or draft. I can transpose the columns so that I've got draft along the top and VCG uh, for each row. So I can change that here. And I can also, here I'm showing the maximum healing arm as a, as a length, but I could also show the healing moment if I preferred. So now we've got one column for each draft or displacement and a row for each VCG. If I want to, I can actually show all the data. So this will give me a single row for each condition. So you can see the first four rows are the 8,500 tons and then the different VCG 7, 8 and so forth. This table tells me the maximum healing moment the criteria, the limiting one. So in case, in this case, all of them are due to the angle of heel rather than the area criterion. And then I've also, in fact, got my um, GZ curve for each of those conditions. And if I want to look at anything in detail and actually see what the vessel looks like, I can click on any one of these cells and it will rotate to the 15 degrees, row 12. 10,000 tons and 10 meters VCG. <clears throat> and uh, I can click on any of these to look at the different heel angles. Furthermore, if I want to look in more detail, I can actually show the criteria for each condition. So again, this is the uh, 10,000 ton displacement, VCG 10 meters. And I can see that the angle here is spot on the 12, uh, 12 degrees, whereas the area is passing with a margin of 183%. I can also view the graph for the criteria. Showing the GZ curve and the maximum grain healing arm. So if I put that on the intersection at 12 degrees and I can look at the different conditions And you can see that, that it's intersecting at the 12 degrees, indicating that's the maximum healing arm we can achieve within those criteria. So that sums up the maximum healing arm analysis mode in maximum stability. Thank you very much.